Alrighty, YouTube. Um, I think it was time to put out an update on my Honda Huckus. Uh, of course, that's a Honda Ruckus 250 engine swap that I did. So if you haven't seen any of the older videos, I'd recommend going back and watching those before you ask a lot of questions because I think I have answered quite a, quite a number of them already, uh, especially in terms of how to build one and and all that stuff. So uh, let's see. And I also want to do this video is because if you look at my channel, it's really geared towards ADV riding. But gosh, you know, if you look at the number of views, it's really heavily weighted towards these Honda Huckus videos. So, I wanted to go back and address a few things. So, mainly in the comments, I had some criticisms that I've addressed. Uh, the first was by Joseph Foster, who said, Man, that radiator looks terrible. So, if you go back and look at the previous videos, I had a radiator mounted up here. Well, as you can see, Joseph, I have removed it for you. And I have relocated it here to the back, up underneath the seat, using those same angle iron bars. I just moved them back here and welded them on so that is now where my radiator resides don't mind the little ding that was off the original wrecked helix one of these days i'll get around to getting a new radiator uh scott Riney had the next post or comment and he said man try to cut those floorboards nicer well scott sorry i was in a little bit of a rush i'm just giving you a hard time but uh so i went ahead and got a new floorboard did a much better job of clearancing and cutting around where the engine protrudes due to this engine swap so and you have to leave a little bit here because the motor does rotate forward with the suspension so that's why this extra amount is up here so now getting all the constructive criticism over with I was gonna have a little discussion about the performance so I weighed this thing this morning and it was 90 pounds on the front wheel and 148 on the rear so of course it's weighted more to the rear due to the heavier engine but uh, it weighed 238 pounds uh, so that was a 44 pound increase uh, so an increase of 23 pounds I'm sorry 23 percent in weight so but now if you look at the performance of the engines the stock helix has a reported 17 horsepower whereas the stock ruckus has 4.4 horsepower so that was actually a 12.6 uh, horsepower increase, or 286%, also known as nearly three times the power. Um, so, I think on horsepower to weight ratio, a Ruckus has 0.022 horsepower per pound. The Helix has 0. I'm sorry, 0 0.048 horsepower per pound. And this now has 0 0.071, so twice the horsepower ratio to weight as a Helix. Or I'm sorry, as the stock Ruckus. Um, also, another thing that I did is I installed 18 gram weights up in the uh, CVT. Uh, the stock Helix is 26 per or 26 grams, which gives you great high speed but terrible bottom end. So I dropped it down to 18 grams, which gives a lot more, you know, on the throttle performance. And I, I wanted to move that power curve down, mainly because these Kendas are only speed rated for 63 miles an hour anyway. So I was never going to reach top Helix speeds anyway. Um, so there is question about the brakes. The, of course, the front brakes are still Honda Ruckus. When, when you have more go, you need more slow. But because it's an engine swap, I actually have the rear helix, uh, rear brake, rear drum, so that helps with the stopping a little bit. Um, let's see, what else? Of course, you can see I've added the essential milk crate. I got rid of the green box that was on there. And let's see, of course I bought it, not stole it, because the only person you have to sleep with every night is yourself. So I wasn't gonna go out and steal one. Um, it is, the, the bike itself is starting to show a little bit of age. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get some, you know, we do have 10,000 miles on the odometer. And, you know, the, these are starting to get a little fogged over and 
you know, just a little wear and tear stuff that I'm probably going to go through and start replacing to make it look nicer again. You know, like I said, eventually the radiator. But, but that's about it. Um, I'm sure questions will continue in the comments about this thing. Uh, it's very fast. It will easily spin the tires in loose gravel. Uh, even That's even going 25 miles an hour, crack the throttle, and it just throws gravel everywhere. So, um, so I just want to do an update. Oh, and I also figured out how to redo this, the ignition, so that I could one day actually get rid of this ignition that came with the Helix. Um, I think if I just use a simple relay uh, with power through the factory key switch, then I can actually eliminate that. If I do, I'll just fill in that hole and put a sticker over it or something. But, uh, but I'm in no rush to do that. It doesn't really bother me that much. So... Um, other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to post them, uh, post them in the link below. Here's, I guess I should have gone into this a little more, uh, rerouting the radiator lines. So this again is the stock helix, uh, radiator cap. And so I use that piece and it kind of comes down to a Y and this side just kind of goes underneath the bike to the other side right here. And then this one kind of just, I made a bend, goes up here behind the voltage regulator and up into the bottom of the uh, radiator. So, so that's it. I hope this helps you out um, if you're trying to do this yourself. And uh, thanks for watching.